Hey yo, what up guys, you bought it. It's your boy, Lone Koi Warrior, tomorrow, and I'm back with another video. And I want y'all... I'm gonna say, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And then today I am going to be reading from this book right here my little sister bought me. Um, the chart that I am going to be reading is called Deep and High. Almost all of us in the United States have been blessed financially, at least when compared to the rest of the world. This has been true for me personally. I know that I have been blessed more monetarily more than my grandparents who were in ministry their whole life. And more than many of my fellow citizens, I was unprepared for the distinction when my family went to South Africa several years ago. However, corrugated cardboard signs, old discarded tires for wall, streams of dirty water and running through the shop sea tires. The question then becomes what we will do with those blessings God has given us. In his book Roll of a Lifetime, my dear friend James Brown shares a number of poignant lessons, but at one point he refers to our lives in terms of the depth of our foundation and the height we should reach. His ideas echo my own that death is comprised of faith, character, integrity, honesty, humility, and stewardship, and a deeper those characteristics go in our lives. The more solid our foundation will be so much so that these things will come naturally. That foundation centered on Christ determines the height we attain in and with our lives as I said and J.B. concurs. It's not about basking in the words, accolades, and whatever form they may come. It's not about how many material possessions we accumulate or how important we may be considered in the world's eyes. Instead, it is how we may maximize what God has given us on behalf of others, recognizing the opportunities we have each day to add value to the lives around us and to make a difference in our world. And as JB does with everyone he meets, you must treat each person as someone special because they are. We should use our money for good, storing up treasures in heaven, finding ways to share with those in need. God isn't keeping track of the amount of money you give, He's more concerned about your heart and willingness to give in the first place. Do you need to rethink your giving plan?